Hello there again, good old chaps. I am Buffalo Mew Pakatan Pakalang George of a fifth. We are here to complete this IEQ test, the intelligence test. If you did not see part one, feel free to check out the link in the description below. This time I'm going to destroy it. To ensure that I destroy it, I am currently wearing no pants. Huh? Yes. If you did not know, the pants were banned illegal in the country of France. And if you do not know that the current Olympic Games are being held right now in Paris, France. So to represent my sportish young fellow lads, I will wear no pants. I will wear no pants. So, let's do this. Which of the figures below figure has the one, most figure triangles? Two, figure three or figure four. Okay, I from from you know what? Let's try to get this very quickly because the last time I wasted too much time. It is figure one. Oh. It is quite obvious there are way more in figure one. What the okay? Oh. okay. Which piece completes the missing, the missing part? part? Okay. Piece one. It piece is. Two, piece three or piece four. It is quite obvious that the missing part would be number. Numbers. Number four. Because the 16 is missing from the equation. I don't have to pause to get this one. The correct answer is piece three. How many, what? If your meal cost $30, thirty dollars and you tipped the waiter twenty percent, how much did you tip the waiter? Tip the waiter? Okay. We are not even going. Well, hold on, hold on. Five dollars, ten dollars, or six dollars. Six dollars. I wanted to let her finish. To hell with her timer because that messed me up the last time. So, um, all we have to do is calculate twenty percent by thirty dollars. Now we are going to use the Newton law. The Newton law is not the Newton law you are thinking of. The Newton law is the one I made up on the spot. The source is I made it. Okay, at twenty dollars, ten dollars, six dollars, and five dollars. Now twenty percent of thirty dollars cannot be. $20. It can only be $10. No, because $10 is half of 20, right? And 10 is half of $10 is half of 20% and 20% is there. And if you take the two O's and O divided by O in the percentage symbol, O divided by O is also an O. So you add an extra O and now it is 200 with a slash in between. Bitch. And when you cut 200, it gives you 100. Right. And if you divide 10 by 10, it's 10. No, 100 by 10 is 10. Die, die, die. It is 10. Correct answer is option D. Simply participating in a race with Wait, so 77, 77 people, people. But before, before the race, race ends, ends, you overtake the person who was in third place. place. In what in position, position did you, did you finish the race? The race? Okay. Second position, first position, third position, third position, third position or fourth, fourth position. position. Okay, we'll pause to deduce this. There are 77 people in the race. If you overtake the person who was in third place, you are now in third place. Why? What is the purpose of having all of these? The relevant information at the forefront of the equational question. It is third place because once you surpass that position, you are in the position. The correct Thank you. Is option C, third Brilliance position. at its peak. September's mother has five there was children, five children, four of, four of whom January, are named January, February, February, February March, March, and April. And April. What Where's is the name, name of the fifth, the fifth child? child? Okay, June. it is January, February, March, April, May. If it is not May, because I have my calendars right. The calendars, I was there to see the Mayans write the calendar on the cold weather night that you learned in high school. Yes, I was there. I was the one who wrote it. The correct answer How is it? B. What? September's Oh, shoot. Oh, oh. That isn't my fault. I am humble enough to admit when I'm wrong. September's mother, but I did not know September had the capabilities of making, of, 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 of being a, a child of a mother. Because September is... We don't care. Let me tell you. Should be placed in place of the question mark. Piece Which of us should be placed piece in two, the question piece three mark? Or piece four. It is quite frankly, it has to be two. No, oh. it's four. Because it is perfectly in line with the lines of longitude. Yes, it is perfectly in line. The what is half of one? What is half of one, one of, one of, of the tenth of, of two? Okay, okay. What is half of one fifth? Of one tenth of two thirds of half of a half of one fifth is one two point five one over two point five. Mm. What of one tenth a fifth of a tenth is a half and of two thirds a tenth of two thirds is a thirtieth. So if you take a thirtieth a two point five and a now. half, Let then that cook. would equate to five. I told you it was. I am just so I have to slap my pantless fat. <laughs> Sorry, I cannot show it because YouTube and its guidelines and I have to keep it PG. Which hmm? of these pairs are equal? Which of these pairs pair are one, equal? Pair two, pair three, or pair four. 
Um, I can see by a visual test right off the bat, one speaks to me on a level that you can only get in prison. They spoke to me and I can clearly go with one. Anyways, what is the next number in the sequence below? 48, 24. We are just dividing by halves. So therefore, it is obviously six. Right off the bat, I know my divisions, okay? Because we are dividing. The correct yes. answer is Perfect. option C, which is heavier, a ton of rocks or a ton, a ton of, of rocks cotton. Or a ton of cotton. A ton of, a ton of, rocks, of rocks. A ton of cotton. Both okay. weigh the same. Both weigh the same. It depends, it depends on the type on of the rocks type of and the type of cotton. This question is clearly for those who are easily fooled by questions like these. They both weigh the same, obviously, because they are both a ton. I thought I was going to say something C. very stupid. Well, How many times will you find the number 7 if you count from 1 times, to 100? Times, 18 times, or 20 times. You will find it 20 times. No. Would you find it I think I believe you will find it 20 times. The yeah, it's 20 times. Which of the options below is the sheet, most different from the others? A spoon, fork, or a a spoon, blanket. Or a blanket. This is the final question, I believe. So I have to deduce this very cool, um, um, professionally. A sheep, it has a lot of fur, or the coat, as some may call it. Um, a fork and a spoon are cutlery, or one can say fine china. And there is a blanket, who is, which, which, which could be made from a lamb, because lamb keeps themselves cool with their overlay, and the blanket keeps you in warm. So, which one is the most different? I would have to say that you can use a fork to, to, to prick lamb meat. Yes, so the spoon, I think the spoon is it because you cannot eat, you cannot prick the lamb meat with a spoon. And also you can use the fork to like, let's say someone is stuck in the blanket. You can use the fork to puncture their tickly toes and that will enable them to scream, but a spoon will do nothing. You know what? This is a motivational, words for those who are who are struggling in life it is not the size of the dog in the fight it is the size of the bone that is stuck in the dog's throat and whether or not it can get out of that bone before it chokes and inevitably dies on the spot okay so i would love you to take that with you it's something i hold very close to my heart but anyways like the video if you've liked it and if you've liked it please like it and if you don't like it, still like it, because Bartholomew Packerton Packerman George of a Fifth is just him, as the youngins would say. Have a jolly good show, and goodbye.